Hello everybody and welcome back to more exciting times in Plants vs. Zombies! We have cleared minigame mode now. All 20 trophies have been won. We're gonna start puzzle mode today, but first, we have our Zen Garden to attend to. And we got enough cash to buy the more, uh, more of them marigolds. And thankfully we have a large amount of fertilizer so we don't have to purchase any more of that. Wake up, stinky. Yep, we're just slowly building our Zen Garden back up. It doesn't matter if we are now super duper poor. It's worth being poor if we do good deeds. I can also show off how to make the plants happy now. Because I have the phonograph. Unless literally every single one of these plants wants a bug spray. And depending on how things go, maybe I'll purchase some bug spray as well, if I can actually afford it. But fertilizer should take priority. Okay, the cherry bomb wants bug spray. We're in a greenhouse, there are no bugs in here. Well, at the very least, we'll, we're making a decent amount of money, so I think we can buy at least one set of bug spray. I think that would be worth it. Wonderful. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go buy some bug spray. It's kind of expensive, but we can afford it. So yeah, if we spray the, uh, the cherry bomb. So they'll give me a little a gold coin for doing that, which is not worth it, considering the price of bug spray. But now they're golden and shiny. And if you play the phonograph, the same thing will happen. But only if they want it. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some chocolate to Stinky. He's now going to go a lot faster, and he'll stay awake for longer. So when we come back next, maybe at the end of this video, we'll check in, and Stinky will have collected some coins for us. And that that's going to be how we make our fortune. So let's go to puzzle mode. So right now, there are two different puzzle modes that we've got. We've got Vase Breaker, and we have Eye Zombie. Two different puzzle modes. So, Vase Breaker we've already kind of experienced through story mode. Uh, level 4-5 was the Vase Breaker minigame. That was the minigame for the fog levels. Eye Zombie, however, is entirely new. And it looks like if we're going uh, chronologically, we're going to go Vase Breaker first. <laughs> this here is Vase Breaker. Some of these levels are really difficult. Good luck! So it follows the same rules of Vase Breaker that Story Mode did. The green vases will always have plants in them. So we're just going to open the vases slowly so we don't overrun ourselves. Okay, we got a bucket zombie in there. Let's try to find a squash. There we go. Thanks for the money. Alright. Let's put the Snoopy down here. Alright. <laughs> he opened it up a little early. Okay. Okay. That's an easy level. So that was just the first level of Ace Breaker. Very, very simple. Nothing really to worry about. Kind of just introducing us to it. And we have unlocked a new Vase Breaker level as well. So basically, as we beat Vase Breaker, we'll start unlocking more and more of these. Now, this is another change that happened from the iPhone version. The iPhone version, you had to purchase this Vase Breaker pack from the, uh, from Crazy Dave's store. We had the first one available, but all of these other ones, we had to buy the pack from the store, which cost quite a bit of money. Yeah, you needed money for a lot more stuff in the iPhone version. So let's do the second level. To the left. So here's the gimmick. Now we can plant plants over here, and some of them are facing to the left. Right. 
Okay, we got double bucket zombies in there. Lovely. Do we have any squash? Oh, that sucks. Okay, we gotta hope that the walnuts hold out for us to, uh, <laughs> to kill these guys. That was unfortunate we didn't hit this guy with the first walnut. This actually, this is gonna be a close one. Will we kill the bucket zombie before he destroys the walnut? I'm not sure if we will. We got very, that was very unfortunate. We had two bucket zombies both in that lane right at the very end and no squash. Okay, we should be good. He won't be able to walk to the house in time. That was close, though. Man, these are really quick and honestly kind of easy compared to the minigames. We get another trophy. Every trophy, of course, gives us a thousand uh, dollars. And we unlock a new puzzle, the third vase. Alright. This will be interesting. for that guy to move a little bit more. Oh, hey, it's Disco Zombie. <laughs> that is the wrong zombie I wanted to hypnotize, but oh well, that'll still work. Oh, crud. I didn't... I thought I had the attackers in that lane. All right. I thought... That was weird. I thought for sure I had attackers in that lane. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Now we'll hypnotize Disco Zombie. Alright, here we go. There we go. <laughs> That went much better. Yeah, if you're careless, you can lose the Vase Breaker games, but they're not too bad. You And we unlock a new Vase Breaker level. Chain Reaction. I think this one's gonna have a lot of uh, jack-in-the-box zombies on it. So we gotta be ready. I generally recommend opening the green vases first. Oh boy, a Puff Shroom. Okay. No! He ran past it again. Alright. So just <laughs> make sure you take out the football zombie and the rest of it should be pretty simple. Nice. And we get another vase breaker level. Okay, we're gonna just clear all of these vase breaker levels this video. <laughs> and it'll still probably be shorter than a lot of the minigame ones. M is for metal. I have a hunch that there's going to be a lot of bucket zombies on this level. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's not where I wanted to put that.
Boom. <laughs> that was simple enough. <laughs> Not too bad. The, uh, the vase breaker levels, I don't really know how to describe how to solve them. I just use the green vases first, and then put the artillery generally in the lanes that have the most remaining vases. And then sometimes, uh, once once you're confident that you can adapt quickly and, uh, like, you can start opening a lot of vases. If you open up a vase and there's a really powerful zombie that you can't deal with, you gotta open up a bunch of vases till you find a plant to deal with it. Just a lot of adapting. Scary Potter. Oh, that's a good name. Ooh, free Peter. Ooh, Torchwood, eh? Alright, I need... Okay. I need something to stop football zombie. Whew. Alright. That was a tough one, but... Some quick thinking saved the day. And we clear Scary Potter. Part of this is just, if you, if you try Vase Breaker enough times, eventually you'll beat it. And we get another Vase Breaker level. The Hokey Pokey. Okay. Oh, I, I get Jeff because Spike Weed. Okay, I may have gone overboard with the vase breaking. I hope this spike weed kills this zombie in time, but I have a feeling it might not. Okay, that's our first one that we failed. <laughs> this is a weird one. Alright, there we go. <laughs> that is a strange one, yeah. You don't have enough walnuts to be able to put them in every lane, so... You can put like one or two in the walnut lanes and make sure you got at least three on the non-walnut lanes, and you should deal with them. Then just use a squash to kill the bucket head. Pretty simple. Spike Wee's just like, yeah, what did you get to do about it? Oh, I'm not even getting a thousand... I guess I'm not getting a thousand dollars from every trophy here. But we get another Vase Breaker level. Another Chain Reaction. More... Jack in the Box zombies. Lovely. Yeah, that's a no for me. Yeah, when I, when I found the squash, I'm like, okay, I'm immediately going to... I immediately was like, yeah, I'm going to, uh, try to find some plants. Or I'm going to try to find a zombie that I can use this on. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> the Jack in the Box zombies... Pretty easy to deal with, honestly, <laughs> in these levels. Another Vase Breaker level. The Ace of Vase. Put Mr. Free Peter there. We'll put you at the end of the lawn. 
Hi, Gargantuar. I need to find... Oh, Plantern is interesting. If you put it down, you can see what are in these plants. Which is pretty useful. Okay, that's a lot of, uh... Oh yeah, he's done. He, he, we don't even need the potato mine for him. Okay, that was a kind of a hectic one, but I like that. <laughs> nice introduction to the plantern for a base breaker mode. Oh, we end to get another base breaker level. Okay, here we go. There's Vase Breaker Endless. So this is one of those things that I'm going to save for towards the end of the Let's Play, because Vase Breaker Endless basically means you go after Vase Breaker after Vase Breaker level, a bunch of them in a row, and there's an achievement in this game and in the iPhone version of getting to a streak of 15. You beat 15 levels in a row. That is one of the hardest achievements in the game, because the levels get very luck-based later on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Not dealing with that. If we go back to our Zen Garden... Excuse me, Stinky. Are you not picking up any coins? Or did I just waste all of my <laughs> Zen Garden stuff on you? That's not very nice. We're gonna need more fertilizer for the future. Yeah, but that's Vase Breaker mode. Not a lot for me to say about it, it's just kind of a, you gotta try it out for yourself and see what strategies work for you. I'll try to go a little more into the strategies, and by that I mean finding more strategies when I eventually try Vase Breaker Endless, but I feel like that warrants its own video, because I have a feeling I'm gonna fail it a whole bunch of times. So I think we'll just stick with a shorter video today than usual. Next time on Plants vs. Zombies, we will be trying out the iZombie puzzle mode, which... I just gotta say, iZombie Endless is really fun, really creative, and very difficult. At least, eventually it gets very difficult. So, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.